Hello everybody, welcome back. It's another nice day, another nice January day. Actually really mild today. Um, yeah, there's not a spot of wind now, and there wasn't a spot of wind yesterday, so... <laughs> it was just really windy that other day we cruised. <clears throat> I've just seen a magpie on top of a sheep in the field. <laughs> it's usually a crow. <clears throat> um, yeah, today is Friday, and uh, Grindley Brook closes on Monday, and we're about eight miles away from <coughs> Grindley Brook, I think. Um, so yeah, we're going to cruise today and Sunday, the day before it closes, just like yeah. we did with Houston. Well, the thing is, with them, we haven't got to move the car either, so, because mm. Sandy's at work. Yeah, Dad's just gone to work. Yeah. Um, yeah, we get ready to cruise. So we're going to do about another four and a half mile cruise today, but only one lock. The next cruise, unfortunately, we've got to do <laughs> about ten locks, I think. And and we've got about to do three before you get to Gridley Brook. That's going to be hard work for Josh because I'll be doing the boat. Mm. <coughs> got to go through Wernbury today though guys. Which has got two swing bridges, one manual one and then there's one road one that we're going to get mum to. <laughs> the road ones. Yeah, we haven't seen a boat in days. No. Lovely. Yeah, and it's been about five people walk past, that's it. Really. It's very quiet in this part. It's funny because when we cruised, well, walked back, there's a certain area where there's loads and loads mm, of loads people walking of people their walk. dogs. Isn't there, Josh? Yeah. Uh, no, um, yeah, it's a nice spot. It's shame to say goodbye to it. Why should we stay mm. longer? Got good internet and everything. Yeah. We, we must go and get past Gridley Brook. Yeah. So, come join us. Mm. Enjoy the cruise. It's like someone likes to come down for a nice peaceful pint beside the canal in the summer. This is weird, a cast iron bridge just for a small footpath. Before you come through the bridge, this boat looks like it's right on the bridge, but it's not the core illusion. There is just about enough room to turn before you reach the boat. This place is called Dogs Unleashed. I think it's a place where you take your dogs and they can run off the lead free. And we've seen quite a few of these along the canals. I didn't even really bother feeding the ducks along here, but they're all winter visitors and they don't really know what people are or what bread is. There's a couple of sections along here with reeds that make it really narrow and you think why don't the CRT cut it back? But the CRT needs to leave some of this for wildlife.
This is the first of about three lift bridges through Wormbury. I'm filming this towpath because I'm quite surprised they've actually upgraded it because last year it was an absolute mud bath and I mean it, it was terrible. This lift bridge, however, is an electronic one because it's actually on the road as well. But the entrance to the lift bridge is very narrow and it's on like a dog leg. So it was quite hard for me to get in there. And I think it was necessary for me to hit and bounce off just to be able to turn around. That's the sound of me trying to stop 18 tonnes of boat with one rope going about two miles per hour. And the rope slipped off and whipped my hand with, I don't know how much force, but it was a lot of force and it really hurt. First I brought, I broke my wrist, so I quickly ran inside, took some painkillers and had to calm myself down before I had a panic attack. But she didn't even realise it was tied on. So she goes driving off and the boat's still tied on. So then she ends up hitting the higher boats while she gets off and takes the rope off. I'll let the GoPro take over for now because I'm inside just calming myself down. Mum met a nice lad at the bridge who lives on the boat up here. And he was asking questions about the lift bridge and how it's done because they just bought their boat. And this is the boat he lives on here. That's so annoying that after almost breaking my finger, I have to do another lift bridge, but thankfully I can just use my right hand. Well, I'm through <laughs> Wainbury guys, but Not as you saw, top. there was a bit of a gap between the recording. Well, obviously the GoPro was running, but yeah, I really, really hurt my hand. Oh, really hurt? <laughs> yeah, when I... Um, it happened before when I got my hand caught around the rope, but this time it was different. <coughs> Mum was doing the lift bridge, and uh, I had to get the boat in. But obviously I can't hover because I'm going to hit the higher boats. Yeah, which so I, I did. had to get off, and uh, yeah, slow the boat down by wrapping the rope around the bollard. But sometimes it slips off, and it slipped off, whipped my hand. Oh, it's bright red. Yeah. He's luckily he could move his fingers. I thought I broke my wrist at first. But no, there's a bit of pain there, but my finger these three fingers are really sore and they're numb at the moment. Yeah, I had to go in because I was gonna have a panic attack if I didn't. Um I took some <laughs> painkillers and stuff. Oh, I got got on the back of the boat, went to go off and, and realised we were already there. tied on. So I had to reverse back, untie us. Yeah. Yeah, I hit a higher boat. Sorry. 
can't help it. I couldn't push off because that was the least of my worries at the moment that, when that happened. But it, the pain is going away at the moment, so that's good. I only tapped it, it's probably on the GoPro. Mm. That caravan's sagging a bit, isn't it? I'm not sure what's wrong with this pigeon. Hope he's alright. Can you tell we're getting near whales with all these sheep? The CRT were doing something at this lock up here. I wasn't sure if it you know, had an emergency breakdown. It was just the CRT testing the gates, but they kept opening and shutting and opening and shutting because they didn't realise we were coming. And I took Ollie through because of my hand and uh, mum did the lock. There's parking on this road here too, and also really nice moorings, but we're going to go a little bit further.
Unfortunately, there's like a little stream that goes all the way along here, so the cats really don't have a lot of room to explore. We're going to moor down here on the 48 hour moorings because it's close to the next bridge which there's also parking at too. Wow, we are moored up at oh. a new spot. New spot guys, just before bridge 25 which is... It was 15? Cruisley? Last, Cruisley. last one was 15 so we've done 10. Oh. Ten bridges. Ten bridges. <sighs> and the ducks are so timid. Yeah, timid on here. Can't feed them. Yeah, we've got a lovely, nice bread here to feed them, and they just yeah. fly away. I think last time they were like that, weren't they? Yeah. I don't know, because it's a busy. Like in the summer, it's a busy canal, so. Maybe the winter visitors. Yeah. Um, yeah. Come on up. Lovely spot. Forty-hour mooring here. The trouble is, <laughs> the rings end exactly at the post, and the post is just there, <laughs> which is before the front of the boat. <laughs> so we have to put a ring and uh, train at the front. That's okay. But we don't want to get any closer to that boat. Uh, don't think anyone's on there anyway. No, it's I don't think so. It's lo locked up and chained mm. up. There is one. We could have gone past these reeds, but then don't really like facing like no, bow to bow, on. really, because you can <coughs> see in everybody's boat. I think it's better to be. Like behind them, like that. Stern, stern. Um, <laughs> parking on that bridge, my finger still yeah. doesn't really hurt that much on this like that. But when I do that, it really hurts. He did take some strong painkillers that mm. Luke used to have, so hopefully it'll uh, sort it. out. Anti inflammatory ones. It's getting cloudy and cloudier now. Yeah. So they reckon it's going to start raining. Well, so. they, reckon, they reckon the rain's coming in at four o'clock. Mm. It's probably only about it's, one now, isn't it? Yeah, one o'clock each. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was a lovely cruise. Yeah, nice. Really nice. Nice weather we had as well. Yeah, I was nice quite surprised weather. because I thought it's going to be raining. The sun's coming back yeah. out now. Yeah. Our last cruise was nice weather as well. So. Mm. Yeah, lovely. Lovely spot here. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. It's it a nice. spot in Maud before. So. And it's like, you can hear the little hum of the road, but mm. I said to Josh, if we go up further up there, we're going to be too close to yeah. the road. So. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the cruise with us, guys. Mm. Next time we're going through Cruisley Lock, yeah. Willymore Lock, mm. quite Pov a few locks, Poveries, Povies Lock, um, and then Grinley Brook. Yeah, I think hopefully Josh's hands will be better. Otherwise, I will be doing the locks and he'll be doing the boat. Yeah, I think it'll be better by then. I mean, oh, yeah. I can just use um, <laughs> my right hand anyway. Luckily, it's my left hand. Yeah. So let's hope it gets better. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Well, thanks for like, watching. Subscribe. Yeah. It's free. Um, and uh, see you next time. Yeah. See you later. Bye.